All right, what's going on, boys and girls? So this particular video, I want to talk about something that kind of grinds my gears. To steal a line from Peter Griffin, um, the the canonical slash Ubuntu hate, like it is so mind-numbingly stupid to me. Canonical, the company, the corporate backer of Ubuntu, has made some dumb choices and decisions. I'll be the first to admit that. However, on the flip side, the community also overreacts and makes dumb, stupid decisions on their own and blows things out of fucking proportion. Example, the hardware information stuff. Should it be opt-in or opt-out? Doesn't matter. My take is, like, I could honestly care less if it means Canonical can give me better hardware support because they're the one with the most OEM deals, newsflash, or it can give me better drivers, or it can get me another OEM to support support Linux. At the end of the day, that's all I care about. I don't give a shit if I have to uncheck a box or check a box. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh, it shouldn't be default. Oh, you know, then you got Ubuntu One, the Amazon Lens. And let's talk about the Amazon Lens for a minute. Yes, it was dumb. It was bad. It was stupid. The way it was implemented was dumb and stupid. Here's the biggest thing about that, though. I don't think most people would have cared if, A, the lens was good, and, B, if Unity was actually able to live up to what it was. Because the search function, when you hit the super key, and people made different lenses, i.e. there's a Wikipedia one, there was one for uh, 7 digital, there was one for X, Y, and Z. That brought it all into the desktop. No browser needed. That was the whole point. So the entire flip out about that just shows that the community can't see past its own fucking ideals. They can't see a realism. They can't see a picture beyond whatever the only picture that they can see is the one that they imagine in their fucking head not everything is going to work the way you want it to and that's okay you know companies and distros and all these other guys they can still be good citizens and still work on stuff that scratches their own itch and if you guys don't like it go scratch your own itch some fucking where else novel idea so, like, why does Canonical get all the hate? I don't get it. I never will. Um, you know, f even for all the people who are like, oh, well, you know, Arch is the new Ubuntu and all this other. So many Arch-based distros, etc. I love when people throw Distro Watch around as a number because, like, it's a fucking popularity contest. Like, most people, I don't think, understand how Distro Watch works. The rank rankings is based on legit how many people from DistroWatch's page use that to go to the website. <laughs> That's it. DistroWatch is a fucking joke. So anybody who quotes it or uses it as a way of popularity is a fucking idiot. Straight out. So if you take every Ubuntu-based distro, Ubuntu, Kubuntu, Lubuntu, Zubuntu, um, elementary, like everything that's based around Ubuntu and still say that it's not the most used distribution, you are in fucking denial. And it ain't talking about the fucking river in Egypt. Because legit, it's probably Ubuntu based dist Ubuntu and Ubuntu based distros than Arch and Arch based distros. That's probably the reality, even if you go by the popularity contest, that is Distro Watch. So, the canonical hate, the Ubuntu hate, is fucking stupid. So, people who do it, you're more of a problem and a hindrance to Linux than a help. Oh, it's about free software. Yeah, free software is great. There's a reason I don't use fr call it free software. There's a reason I call it open source software. A, you lost the marketing battle. And B, at the end of the day, it's about development. 
does it give me better applications? Does it give me X, Y, or Z? That's open source. The core tenets of open source mostly meet with the core tenets of free software. Quote, unquote. Like Libre software. Whatever you want to call it. So, stop your bitching. If people use Ubuntu or Ubuntu-based distros, let them. Be glad they're using Linux. Personally, I don't care for Fedora, but I thank you, Red Hat, for the work that they do. I think, well, I guess IBM now, <laughs> but the 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 Ubuntu thing just it boggles my mind because it's like people undercut what they've done and contributed. Oh, that new uh, GNOME, you know, not being a sluggish jank piece of shit like it had been prior, because you know a lot of that. 3.34 improvement came from Canonical. Um, so let's talk about hardware support. Canonical is the one company that was able to put Linux back on hardware at an OEM level, Dell, etc. That is easily accessible now. No other company was willing to do that or try that or have a focus on that. Fedora, Red Hat, you know, they might have been buried, but there there was no push like there was with uh, Ubuntu because of Canonical and the relationships they built with various OEMs. And just getting the amount of people onto Linux that they have as an onboarding process is insurmountable and we should be thanking them for Instead, we lambast them for rightfully dumb decisions, but we can't hold that as their legacy. We have to look at the whole picture. Unfortunately, a lot of the people in the community are too fucking narrow-minded to see a whole picture because the only picture they see is the one that they've viewed in their head, or maybe it's the one that they only see because they have their head shut up their ass. Just my take.